Hi, I'm Mark Hatton and this is The Bear Cave. Today I'm joined by Cam, Rob and Robbie. <laughs> How are you going guys? Good? good. Yeah, Thanks, good. Mark. That's good. Today I want to pose a question to you all. Um, is The Bears a relic of the 80s and does it have a future? Ooh, Ooh. ponder that one. Yeah. Yeah. That's, a deep, that's a big question. Um, what do you think, Rob? Because you were there very much at the start, so... Well, certainly for Vic Bears, yeah, 20-odd years ago. I think the nature of the question, simply by us being here and there still being a thriving club, sort of proves the point that we're not a relic. Um, we've been around 20 years, the club, has, the club has grown, it's doing a lot more different things in the community and fundraising and working with charities. So from that alone, I think it's proven it's not a, it wasn't a fad. It's not like the mm. hula hoops of the 50s or the sushi rolls of the 90s. They're still around a bit. But um, I think, you know, the bear culture is so strong, not just in Melbourne and Victoria, but in, you know, every city and most countries as well. And when you've got a bunch of passionate people behind it, whether you're on committees or volunteers or love helping out at the events or just the passion of our members wanting to come together and say, when's the next luncheon or whatever, that hasn't ebbed at all you know, mm. over the years. So I think it, it certainly wasn't something that just sort of blossomed in you know, many, many years ago. I think it's definitely here to stay. Yeah, Robbie, you're a bit newer to the bear community. Um, do you think, how, what, how do you see as a younger person coming into the bear community, do you feel that it's a relevant community? Oh, absolutely. I think, and being quite new, you know, even a matter of sort of months that I've really been heavily involved with, with the bear community, I actually think that through my experience through many of the gay communities, it's one of the most thriving gay communities. Mm. It's it's one of the most um, accepting and welcoming gay communities that I've been a part of in my in my history as a gay man. And it, it's, it's, it's very, it, it serves a, a larger purpose through Vic Bears and through a lot of their um, organise that through a lot of the events and everything. It, it really it, it opens doors for, for people to to meet people and and feel like they're a part of something you know a community mm. more so than others. Cam, you were recently part and you're a runner up in Mr Vic Bears <laughs> yeah. this year. Um, how do you feel? Now you obviously came into Bears in a big way. <laughs> yeah. How how do you feel about Bears going forward? Uh, do you see uh, your future in Bears or? I, I, there's definitely a future. I, I wouldn't say there's not a future. We've, there's definitely been a history. We've, there's always a history, a present and a future with everything. Um, however long that future may be is the next question, obviously. But that mm. takes, that's where myself and Robbie being in sort of the similar generation, we're the next. We are the people who are going to take this, this community forward. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna be the ones who are going to take Vic Bears forward into the next 20, 30, 40 years. We have to get the younger people into our community now that's going to then help us continue this generation on and on and on. Um, if we don't, the way we're sitting right now in regards to the membership within sort of the community and the sort of people who attend our events, if it was to sustain the way it is now, we'd be gone within the next 10 to 15 years. Uh, it's my personal belief in that one as well. But I reckon if we don't get young people into our community and into our sort of our events and our social aspects and everything as well, we're not going to have a future. So I put a call out to everyone who is even thinking that remotely that they may want to be part of our group or maybe want to be part of the community. Just have a chat. Come to one of our events. Meet us. We can certainly show you a really good time. We have some amazing events. Like we've got some we have lunches, we have den nights, we have so many events all through the year. And I just think that for me coming to Melbourne, it was a great experience to sort of find a group that I fit into so well and certainly getting the confidence to then go right up there to participate in the uh, Mr Vic Bears competition and have a very close competition, which was and a very great fun competition as well. Yeah, there was only two points there. There was two yeah. points yeah. between us, yeah. like 160 yeah. or something points. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, um, but I think Cam actually raises a really good point. I mean, we're looking at the next generation taking it forward. And in this day and age of apps and homogenization within to the general wider community, mm. do you see that, because it's always been very isolated almost, do you see that homogenization and these the technology have being a problem for the bear clubs in the future, Rob? I don't say it is a problem, and, and the point can raise. I was sitting here, sort of jittering a little, thinking, you know, we have a time span, and unless we get, you know, the sort of Armageddon, and, and you know, it's one of the older ones, you know, and elders of the club, and there's many of us in. Look, there's a truth to that that a lot of our members were there in the beginning, in the early years, and it's, 
and but the nature of the club it welcomes those who are older in generations. So yes, on on the surface it does look like it's a bunch of old guys, but um, as you, evidence here, you know, there's a lot of young people coming in. <laughs> and in mm -hmm. fact, to counteract that point, you're right. Things like our new app, you know, it was we created, we found a good platform, we've built some great content, and that's what certainly you know, we all um, you know, have te great technology in our pockets and want that instant like what's happening, where can I meet up with people. Let's check out the photos. Like filming today is already online. You know, it's on the app. It's on Facebook. I think that's going to help because that's the sort of tools that um, younger generations rely on and tap into. So as long as we keep relevant, um, not mm. only in what we do for the people that like to come together and socialise, but interact with our members and our community in a way that they like to receive information, whether it's newsletters or standing up on stage and saying stuff, which you know you and I have done yeah. as well. That works. Um, but you know, varying that, I think it will always have a future. And as Cam pointed out, it's um, it's certainly getting young blood in, and then those new ideas and probably Vic Bears in 2025 or 2026 will look different. Mm. And that's great, and, and it should, you know, because mm. it's not as it was when it was you know created in '96, um, all those years ago. So. Yeah. yeah, I think it's gonna. It'll be a different looking club as, as community groups should change and evolve to the needs of the community and the people coming in. But it's interesting. Every den night, every event, there's someone new that's like coming out or first time mm -hmm. at the lead or didn't know what bears were. The same things that we probably did, you know, way back in our twenties when we discovered it. it still happens. There's still people yeah. coming out, and and it's great that we're we are a club and a place that the young guys can come to and feel, hey, I found home. You know? Yeah. And Robbie, I want to talk to that point as well, but um, do you find Bears now is a more a centralised place for your social activity or do you have a varied social activity where you may go to other groups for activity as well as Bears? No, I found when I when I entered the Bear community that it was it felt like that, that was home, that that's where I should have been years ago. and, and almost exclusively those venues that are bear friendly and um, those events that are organised by bears are pretty much more or less what, what we do in our social life now. That's where my friendship groups are, that's where my roots are and that's been a very quick turnaround. It's that real feeling of, oh, this is, this is kind of my, these are my people, this is where I belong. I think that's, and that's yeah. about the same story for you, Cam, <laughs> isn't it? Very like, much so, yeah. Maybe to Melbourne, I said re from regionally New South Wales and I said it's just coming into here, it's just, it's great to sort of have found a family because um, my family is 15 hours away so it's sort of like this is my new family now and it's so That's good. That's great. Mm. Uh, well, I think we've all found family. Uh, my family <laughs> today has been Robbie, Rob and Cam. This is Mark Haddon and this has been The Bear Cave. We'll catch you next time on Bent TV.